Hello and welcome to Swiftly Learn Swift. Now, how do you install and use CocoaPods? So, to install CocoaPods, just open your terminal and from anywhere and from any directory, just type sudo gem install CocoaPods. That's basically your very first step. You type in your password. Okay. So since I already had it installed, my process was much shorter. So anyway, now you have uh, CocoaPods installed on your machine to check what's available. Just type pod space help and you'll have all the options. Let's try installing the PayPal uh, iOS SDK uh, using CocoaPods. So uh, let's start with a new project. Okay, so once you've created your project, save it, and the next step is to actually close the project folder. Okay, and back to your terminal. Now go to where you created the project. So in my case, it was on the desktop, and it was PayPal sample two. Okay, LS, just to be sure, yep, they're all there. So the next step is to create the pod file, and you do that by doing pod init. And just check it if it's created. You have the pod file created. So what that does is it creates a file for you. So if you open up your finder, you will see the pod file over there. So just right click and open with text editor and that's your pod file now to install PayPal um, you need to edit this file you need to put in the targets here so let's just get it prepped uh, you, I usually just remove this first line the iOS and version number I usually target for um, iOS 8 and above uh, that depends on the library okay there are two samples here I removed the first one now to look for the libraries you can go back to your terminal and say pod search PayPal and when you do a search and you do for a file name you'll get the examples uh, the available libraries right so for in this case we want the second one PayPal iOS SDK so you can do also you can do pod search Hernik, right and you get all different types of library it depends on what you search on the internet and you'll get the uh, library details so we're looking for PayPal iOS SDK again and if you look uh, up here uh, this is what they will ask you to copy and paste it in your pod file so you just copy that little bit go back to your text editor and put it in between Okay, one thing to note that the, the you need to make sure that that these are these little apostrophes are non-styled because if, if they're curved uh, it won't run. So just make sure those are all okay. Put your library name in, save the pod file, go back to your terminal, and your final step is to install okay and it has installed the library for you so you're done now to open the project you go back to your finder from now onwards you do not open the xcode project but you open the xc workspace so basically this will include your uh, libraries from CocoaPods. okay so there you go so you will see your your project folder though you the one you usually see and then you'll see this extra one with, with the pods. Now for Swift, if you're using libraries which, uh, which are done in Objective-C and you're coding in Swift, then you'll need a, uh, a bridging header. Uh, and to do that, it's pretty simple. So first you, you, you create a file in your folder. Just right click, new file, header file. And let's call it uh, PayPal bridging header. Okay, add it to the targets. 
okay and the second step is to go to your build settings make sure you click on all go all the way down to Swift compiler code generation at objective C bridging header put the value in now you need to put the full path so it should be dot slash PayPal sample to slash the bridging file name PayPal dash bridging dash header dot h enter and you're done okay next is to actually import the the libraries so open your PayPal bridging header file uh, you don't need all this and in import in this case it's PayPal mobile dot h bridging header uh, now you can start using your libraries so if you would like to call the PayPal functions you can do so uh, there you go you start seeing all the PayPal related stuff on your files you have successfully integrated the PayPal uh, library into your project thank you I hope you enjoyed the video um, stay tuned for more